one of the first things you'll see when you turn off 33 miles west of Delta is the UDIG fossil trilobite quarry sign. We're not going to be going there today. I'm going to try my luck at two or three non-pay locations, which I'm familiar with. Another interesting site you should be able to see framed the lower part below the sign is Notch Peak with its distinctive notch. Uh, it is the highest sheer cliff in the lower 48 states outside of Yosemite's Half Dome. Off this direction we have Lake Severe, which is essentially a salt flat today. Uh, there is a little bit of water left, which is not evaporated. But we'll see if we can find any trilobites today, and if I have any luck, I'll get with you later. So we're going to head towards Margin Pass. You would keep going this direction if you were going to the pay site. We're going to make a left here and continue on for several miles towards the mountains there. That direction will also take you towards the gold areas, gold uh, prospects. But we're going to stop short and visit a trilobite area instead. So we're going to head towards the Massa Valley. That'll take you um, again to the Gold Prospects. The other direction will take you towards Margin Pass. There's one trilobite area I'm going to try over here first, and then there's another one over by Margin Pass, which we'll finish up with. Okay, this location has a lot of uh, red shale. So I did find a couple small trilobites so far. There's a lot of flies out here this year. I guess all the rain has caused that. 
but I'll keep looking. I mean, I'll give you a look around the area. And just a reminder to be cautious. I don't know if you can see, but there's a rattlesnake right in the center of the frame where that lighter rock is. He's just to the right of it, coiled up. You can see his rattle. He was out in the open more, but he's tucked himself in there now. I'm not going to get any closer. He looks a lot further away than he really is. He's probably about you know, 15 feet away. Anyway, talk with you later. And another type of snake. This one appears to be the harmless variety. It's pretty immobile. I'm surprised he's not moving. I guess he's expecting to blend in with the scenery. Anyway, I usually come out here in the fall. I think I'll continue to do that instead. There's, there's a chill in the air. There's not all these bugs or snakes. This part, I haven't, this one is a little closer up into the mountains, so that's probably one reason we have more snakes and flies and things. <clears throat> when I get it out into the valley again, to the next spot, there may be less of this.
Okay, the last place I went turned out to be just limestone outcroppings. Look good on Google Earth, but wrong type of stone, no shale. This third spot, just within minutes of arriving here, I've uh, found a trilobite. Okay, so there's a trilobite I found within just minutes of going up this little wash. I'll have to clean it up, but I just left it that way uh, so we could see how it looked right out of the ground. And I'll keep looking. I just got to this location. Uh, there's Margin Pass. That direction. Well, this looks like it's going to be a pretty good spot. I found another child bite there. And um, you can see the positive and negative side. Looks like a Erethia king eye. I believe that's the most common one and the state fossil of Utah. There's also some geology people. There's also some large chunks of calcite around here. Anyway, I split this large, uh, large um, slab open, and that's where I found the, uh, this one. Talk with you later. And wouldn't you know, I got a flat tire. So, well, I can't, I can't, don't know if you can see it, but there's a jack under there, and I'm going to have to fix my flat tire in the middle of nowhere. Don't you know the one adventure I decided to document? I have a flat tire. I've gotten it before, but it's been a little bit a little while. So time to stop documenting and start doing some work. See you later.